Well, welcome back everybody to History Guy here. This is episode three, playing as the Confederacy in uh, Brothers vs. Brothers. This is an American Civil War mod for Empire Total War. And uh, we have just recently acquired the city of Baltimore. And now I'm just kind of watching to see what the Union armies are doing. I don't see any of them coming toward my army in Baltimore. At least not for now. It looks like he's pretty content to move elsewhere. So I've got to continue to uh, beef up my other forces and look to see where else I might strike at the United States. Uh, definitely at some point, I, I know some of you have cautioned against it, but I want to deal with this ship. So uh, I am going to go ahead and look at my ports, which I've got a couple right here over near Pensacola that I can use to uh, build some forces. So we're going to go with a couple of steam frigates, which is going to take some time to build. But once those are complete, I'll send them around and we'll see if we can't deal with that ship outside of Savannah. In the meantime, I'm very concerned about Nashville, and so I definitely am going to get some more forces going there. Same with Jackson. Let's see. I've got a few things here, so I'm not feeling too nervous about that yet, just yet. I'm thinking maybe over here is the place I can do something. There's not a lot going on out here, but um, I might make a bid for Cheyenne which is now in the state of Wyoming, but at the time would have been part of Kansas Territory. So let's see. I do have a general here, General Johnston. And I'm going to recruit a couple of new units so that I can then take these folks out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually take them to Amarillo for now because I'm also going to take some forces out of Wichita Falls and send them there. And between the two, maybe we can have a decent little army here that we can use to march up into Confederate or into Union territory. In the meantime, let's head over and look at what's going on in the east. Just making sure I'm not forgetting about anybody else. Okay, we do have the Carolinas where we have a lot of recruitment going on right now all right and then finally Richmond I can't recruit anything else right now it looks like oh we're out of money that would be why all right let's end the turn <laughs> So he's building up a force there in Frankfort, Kentucky. At some point he's going to make a bid to go after Nashville, I'm sure. So a bunch of barracks built. So this guy gained a trait that I can only remove by spending my tax income better. All right. All right, let's take a look here at Richmond. I am going to get a siege mortar going. We've got General Lee there. We've got some units already in place. So I'm not going to do too much more with all that. Build another Stonewall Brigade. I want to see what's going on with these armies near. There is a decent army now that... Well, it's got a lot of state militia. So I'm not all that concerned about it. I really wish he would come after me here, but I don't think he's going to do that. So what I'm probably going to need to do is send a second force up once I've got it built up a bit more and then maybe send a few units out from Baltimore to deal with that. Uh, I've also kind of tempted to go after Philadelphia, but I don't think quite yet. Once I get that siege mortar, I'll probably go ahead and see if I can't take down Washington. He's marching out from St. Louis. And here comes another ship. It looks like two ships. Oh, it looks like they ran into some pirates. 
All right, so an enemy army has come into Northern Virginia. We're gonna have to march out and meet them. All right. They went for the Shenandoah Valley, which makes sense. It's actually a decent sized army too. I'm not sure I have the force to, to fight them on my own. So let's do this. We're going to send out some of my force from Baltimore. Your orders. Ship's orders. Still ship shape. Interesting. <laughs> And then this will be the army that we go after the Yankees with. And hopefully he'll come out to meet me. Alright, let's go to our force here in Amarillo. Get them going. And, oh, there's a gold mine there, huh? Alright. Let's take that. And we're going to go ahead and not spend any more, at least on this particular turn. Another ship. Now he's got three ships there. Great. Okay, we're going to first go ahead and take care of this gold mine. Thank you. And then we got to deal with this Union Army over here. And let's finish up this episode with a battle. It's a pretty evenly matched one, too. The only difference being that I've got regular troops, uh, volunteers. He's got state militia. So you can see their melee attack 4, melee defense 8, accuracy 35. Compare that to a Stonewall Brigade, which is better in every single category. So, in theory, unless I really botch this up in my tactics and strategy, which is quite possible, as I'm definitely still a noob at this game, uh, unless I really screw this up, I should be able to win this battle just because he has inferior troops. But... Do not put it past me to find a way to screw this up as I still learn to play this game. I've only fought a couple of battles, so we'll find out soon enough. And uh, I'm sure you'll all let me know uh, what I could have done better, and that's totally fine. That's how I learn, so I welcome that as always. But here we go. Let's see how this goes down. If you hear me drinking something, I'm drinking one of these Mountain Dew Green Label. It's crafted uh, Mountain Dew with crafted green apple kiwi. That's not an uh, advertisement that I'm getting paid for. It's just an endorsement because it's delicious. All right. So, actually, this is a pretty decent location. As you see the fences and stuff here. Um, let's see. Where's the rest of my force? All off to the sides or back here okay so all right not bad he's way back there so we've got some time to uh, to get ourselves into position here I'm gonna line up right behind this fence
Uh, he's gonna have the high ground right here, but that'll be offset by my cover, I think. So we'll see how that goes. Do I have any artillery? I do not. That's the one thing I neglected to bring with me was artillery. Okay, so that that's a problem. I've got these Zouaves and the 33rd Infantry here, which is uh, actually, they were, I believe the 33rd Virginia was part of the uh, Stonewall Brigade. Let's see what he's doing over here. He may not even be coming. What is that? Oh, he's got um, some defenses against cavalry there. Interesting. So let's do this. I'm actually going to send a unit over here into these woods with the thought being that maybe I can come up and flank him. Same here. I'm going to send a unit over into these woods that maybe he will just not see when he gets up here. Just trying something out. We'll see how it works. Not entirely sure the difference here with skirmish mode. I guess that would be just a tactic where you're going to fire and then drop back. Is he even coming to me or is he just going to stand there? He must be coming because I don't see most of his army anymore. No, he's still there. So he's going to make me come to him. I guess is how this is going to work. Alright. Not really inclined to want to do that. So this may just kind of be a standstill situation for now. I'd very much prefer to fight on the defensive. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit just to wait and see if he even moves. He's not moving. Alright, so I'm either going to have to attack him or just be content to not fight here. Because that's a really strong defensive position and I don't know about one to fight there. Just not what I have in mind. But I don't want to leave you without entertainment here, so I'd rather fight a battle than not. So let's do this. But let's do this in such a way that doesn't require me to go straight at those forces. Let's uh, take the whole army. Now we'll start with the uh, infantry here. And march him over here. Cavalry, same thing. We'll bring the whole army over here and, and attack him from the side. I'm not going straight at those fortifications. I may run out of time to do that, but that's fine. Actually, let's go ahead and take two regiments and go that way. And we'll let the rest of them come from the other side. And we'll keep an eye on what he does while I do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward here. He seems pretty inclined to say, oh, now he's adjusting. Perfect, because he sees these forces coming. We'll make this a second group. That other group, we'll make them group one. All right, and then our cavalry, that'll be group three. So group two, see it's forcing him to move and that's what I like. And 
there's his cavalry in the back. Now he's adjusting and he's he's left this this part of his force out hanging out. gonna keep one eye on him here while I fast forward and, and let this play out a little bit perfect we're taking him out of his defenses uh, the AI is definitely kind of stupid on this game at least so far I've discovered that now he's really changing his setup so he's leaving that flank just kind of hanging out there So let's go ahead and start getting ready there. And actually, I'll go ahead then and get group one right here. Ideally, I'd put them right here, actually. Get him right in these woods, right at the edge of this forest here. Of course, then he's going to adjust, so I need to still be at an angle. I know, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, because as long as I keep this angle, he won't line back up behind those entrenchments and that's really the ideal situation Cavalry, he might send them at my smaller force if I'm not careful. Really wish I had some artillery, I should have brought some. Alright, we're just about in range. Here comes the first shots to be fired in this battle. So we'll probably just go ahead and stop right there since we're in range. There's no point in getting any closer while I've got just one unit in range and I can just chew him up. He's sending, sending help over there now. How close are we to getting these other guys in range? Almost there. In fact, if I scoot up just a little more, I'll have some nice flanking fire going on. Keeping my cavalry just close enough to protect my infantry. Halt right there, guys. Don't get any closer and get in range of these other units. Oh, he's moving them now. He knows what he has to do. See how we're doing. So far, so good. He's got this one unit sitting out here, and it's just not good for him at all. If I can take him off, take him out a piece at a time, that'll be perfect. We'll go ahead and move the rest of these guys into range. If 
actually got one extra unit here I'm just gonna keep in the back for now. I feel like I have to drive him from the field and take the objective, which is returning to Shenandoah Valley to me. I'm more concerned about destroying his army, so if I can do part of that without endangering my whole force, then that's fine. Wavering. Looks like they're going to start falling back. How are we doing here? 16 men lost. Nobody lost here. I want to move these guys up a little bit so that they're in range a little better. Same here. We're going to start moving up a little bit. Actually, we'll shift a little bit too so we're better connected with this other force. No, not that way. Not that way. Oh, here they come on this side. Alright, where's the cavalry going? It looks like maybe they're just shifting, but I better move mine in a little closer to be safe. be able to counter his. These guys are well in range now. Alright, let's shift these guys a little bit. Alright, now let's just watch for a bit. Oh, here he comes. Look at this. This may be a bad idea. I guess we'll find out. I'm still learning how best to use cavalry, mounted infantry, etc. But that seems to have been a good use of them. <laughs> wow. I'm going to wipe that unit out. Nicely done, guys. Those guys just basically ceased to exist. They got 12 men left. All right, let's move up a little bit. Here comes his cavalry. Maybe. Bring him up close enough and I'll hit you. Uh, he, he started to come at me, but then he backed off. I think he was trying to draw me in. Still got a unit here in reserve that I'm probably not even going to have to put into the front line. Going. These guys have lost 23 men. These guys haven't lost a man. Screw everybody up a little bit. I want to get them in range a little more. Now it's just a matter of taking them down with fire from every side.
general back to safety behind the lines here. time left in this battle. And that's okay, like I said, I'm in no I feel no need to rush this at the sake of losing men. These guys get a little further up this hill, I'll go at them with my dragoons. Close enough. Bring the other ones up just to be safe. Don't touch those entrenchments there. Well, that happened fast. Alright, bring them back. Yeah, this one's about to play out. That's going to be the end of the battle here in a second. So we'll just fast forward a little bit. And like I said, I'm content with that. It's a close defeat, but for me, that was about weakening his army, making it just that much easier to go at him the next time. So we'll see where things stand at that at this point. All right, so I, he lost 575 men. I lost 164. That's the ideal situation for me as a confederate army to weaken him of course now it caused me to retreat all the way up here to almost by baltimore so i'm going to get them back into baltimore and then i'll send them right back out again next time around so that's the only problem with losing the battle is it causes my army to flee and now i'm, I'm left kind of with not much defense there in richmond so let's go ahead and do one more turn Oh, here's a diplomacy officer or offer from the Mexican Empire. They will give me Chihuahua for a trade agreement. Or they de they're demanding Chihuahua. I don't have that. Let me take a look here. Oh no, that's theirs. Okay. Yes, I'll accept that. Excellent. Man, there's a lot of Union troops out there I'm going to have to deal with. Wow, he just sent an army down into the North Carolina, the middle of North Carolina. Okay, opportunity to intercept. And it looks like I would have the upper hand. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'll wrap this episode up right here. And I'll come back in the next episode with that battle. So thanks for watching. If you have any... Uh, input please 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 feel free to share uh, i am not that great at this game yet i'm learning as i go and i've already learned a great deal from those of you who have commented so please keep that coming maybe you see something and you're thinking oh my gosh dude you're missing this you really need to see what's going on here let me know what those things are i definitely welcome that hope you're enjoying the series if you are if you'd hit that thumbs up i greatly appreciate it thank you guys to everybody who's subscribing I believe when I checked this morning, I was at 1,099 subscribers, so I'm hoping to go over 1,100 any time now, uh, and then we'll be on to 1,200. So thank you. I couldn't have done it without all your support. I appreciate it greatly. We'll see you again soon. Have a great weekend.